Welcome to the National Day of Prayer. We're gathered here in our staff meeting in our meeting room at a Glow International headquarters to pray together on this special day, the National Day of Prayer, May 2022. And we're so glad that you have joined us. It's not only our staff, but you, Aglow, and others around our nation and perhaps even in other nations of the world. We welcome you. And as we've been sharing together in preparation for this time, uh, this is not a spectator sport. Prayer has never been a spectator sport, but it's a time when we enter in together in agreement. So as we pray here together in this room, I invite you to speak out your prayers, yes. to make your declarations, to say those prayers of yes and amen, to pray in the Holy Spirit, our governmental language of prayer. Uh, also, if, you, if you'd like, be uh, participants by making your comments or adding your prayers there on the comment section of YouTube and Facebook Live. We welcome that. It's, it's such a joy to look and see and, and hear your prayers as you have made those comments together as well. Most important, Holy Spirit is here. And we are partnering with Holy Spirit for the intentions that God has for our nation, for America. In this very critical time, each one of us recognize the situations that are taking place in our nation. So many issues, so many uh, areas of chaos and confusion, and our hearts cry out for this blessed land, for this beautiful land, for the beautiful people yes. of our nation. Yes, and so we unite together today yes. in prayer, expecting. Yes. Jane has reminded us often to be expectant. Yes. So we are expecting that as we pray, God will hear. He will turn his hand, his heart, his eyes towards this nation and break the tyranny of any demonic influence Amen. and release the power of his spirit yes. for his purposes Hallelujah. for our nation. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you. <laughs> the theme for the National Day of Prayer this year, this is a theme that across this nation, groups are gathering and making these same declarations. The theme is, exalt the Lord who has established us. And this comes from Colossians 2, verses 6 through 7. As you therefore have received Christ Jesus, the Lord, so walk in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith, as you have been taught, abounding in it, with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has mantled us in a glow. He's mantled the body of Christ with governmental intercession. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With the authority to pray in the spirit, to partner with God for dominion, for rule in the nations of the earth. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 33 Verse 22 really establishes this so clearly. For the Lord is our judge. The Lord is our lawgiver. The Lord is our king. He will save. As we pray today, we acknowledge that he is the one who establishes government. He doesn't just come along and bless it. <laughs> but he establishes government government. Mm -hmm. There have been times when we have been timid in the body of Christ to pray for the government, mm -hmm. to pray for what we <coughs> would call and classify as politics. Last week, Dutch Sheets gave a very powerful series uh, on his Give Him Fifteen 
about politics and government. Amen. I encourage you to go to that website and read the transcripts or view the videos on that. Just a couple thoughts along those lines today. Government. Government is at the very heart of God's assignment for mankind. Government is in the beginning. When God said, take dominion, take rule, govern in the earth, he called you and I to govern in the earth. <coughs> Government is designed by God to bring order. <laughs> Lord knows we need order. <laughs> Government is designed by God to bring order, not with a harsh and a heavy hand, but with a cooperation under the Spirit of God to help people dwell on earth peaceably, to help us flourish. God's design is that governments, the governments in the world, are enhanced, are strengthened, and prosper in His majesty. Amen. Hallelujah. Even as we say that, Lord, let your spirit so infuse that which you have established in the governments of the earth. That government is free to move forward in your spirit to prosper, to flourish, and to bless the people of our nation and the nations of the earth. Government serves. Government serves the good of people. Government serves to bless people. And government serves to exalt God. Government serves to fulfill God's purpose that we would have dominion. That we would rule. Amen. That we would govern in the earth. That which causes sometimes a, a, a bit of angst and frustration in our spirits is that political spirit that is very rampant. A political spirit and government are two completely different things. A political spirit is that which is set to achieve or grab power. A political spirit controls through negotiation. All right, negotiation isn't so bad. Through debate, okay, debate's good. But it also controls through coercion and manipulation. That's that angst that we often feel in regards to politics. That control through manipulation, through coercion. Politics, or that political spirit, is very issue and agenda driven. It asks the question, how do we power through this personal agenda? Whereas government is people driven. Government asks the question, what's best for the people? Satan himself operates under a political spirit. He has an agenda. He is very agenda driven. His agenda is to usurp God. Amen. From the beginning, that was his agenda, to usurp God. That's what got him booted out of heaven. <laughs> to usurp God and to usurp the dominion that God has given us. That's the bottom line of our struggle against the enemy. So we pray today, as we pray even for some of the issues that are facing our nation, we pray today for an awakening in the body of Christ, for an awakening in the ecclesia, that governing body of heaven on earth, 
an awakening to stand up in the purpose that God has called us to, to have dominion, to take dominion, to rule, to govern in the earth according to the purposes, the plan, the will, and the pleasure of God. We pray today for a restoration of honor, for a restoration of the servant's heart in those who are called to serve specifically in areas of government in our nation. From our local government all the way to the White House. Oh God, break our hearts, open up our hearts, and impart a servant's heart in those who govern. That there can be a true governing spirit of the Lord in our nation rather than that political usurping spirit. Yes, Lord. Father, we ask that you would break the tyranny of a political spirit and release the freedom of government upon America. Release the freedom of government in our White House, in our nation's capital, in the state capitals across our nation, in our places of city government, in our school boards, in the boards of directors of corporations. Wherever there is a governing board or people who are called to governor to govern, release a servant's heart and the anointing to walk in dominion as you have designed. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray this upon our nation. We pray this through our nation. We pray this into our own hearts. Set us each free from the angst of a political spirit and free to stand in dominion as you have designed in our nation. Amen. 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 Yeah. You know, it was a political spirit combined with a religious spirit that sent Jesus to the cross. And many of you may have been at conference, I don't know exactly the year, 2003, 2004, when Dutch Sheets was with us. And he gave Jane a key. He held up a key and he said, I give you the key, I give you the key. And he was talking about Isaiah 22, 22. It's been our scripture ever since. And uh, Jane keeps that key on her nightstand so that she sees it every day. And is God has said to us, Isaiah 22, 22 says, The key of the house of David I will lay on his shoulders, and he shall open and no one shall shut. Amen. And he will shut and no one will open. Yes. So today, Father, we take this key, that key that you gave to us, mm -hmm. yes. and we turn the lock yes. to shut yes. down every demonic yes. darkness yes. that is yes. at work in this nation. And we open the key to the light and the glory of God, yes. that, it, that it presses in in a way in this nation where we haven't seen it Yes. So in later years, but we're going to see it today. Yes. We yes. have yes. the authority yes. Yes. to open yes. and shut, yes. and God wants us to use that as his people. Yes. We ask for a mighty awakening in the yes. true church of God, the ecclesia, yes. in this nation. Thank we you. ask, too, for the outpouring awakening that will cause demons to tremble yes, and America Lord. to be saved. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we, as we pray that, can you just hear the locks begin yes. to tumble? Yes. The tumblers in those locks as the Holy Spirit is moving in a powerful way. Yes. Hallelujah. This week we have been very aware of some of the things that have happened in our U.S. Supreme Court yeah. with a, a leak there, and uh, there's there's, or if you're like me, you're kind of conf conflicted, like okay, 
is Roe versus Wade really going to be overturned now? Mm -hmm. And yet very disturbed about the, the compromise mm -hmm. of a leak in our mm -hmm. yes. U.S. Supreme Court, the highest court on earth yeah. <laughs> in this land. Yes. And so, Lord, we just hold up to you, yes. the U.S. Supreme Court. Yes. Lord, we ask that anything that is out of alignment with heaven yes. is shifted into alignment with heaven. And as we pray, we also ask for your protection upon each justice of the Supreme Court. We ask that every justice will serve their entire time as you have designed. That they would be protected, that they would be under your hand in that time, that they would be blessed by your hand. And oh God, that you would speak to each one of them. Speak to them in the nighttime. Speak to them through dreams and visions that they would know your heart and judge accordingly. Oh God. Thank you, Lord. Lord, in agreement with Nancy's prayer, I just ask that um, you would lift up our Supreme Court of the United States today which functions as guardian and interpreter of our laws and of our land and our constitution, but ultimately under you, Lord. And we ask that you would divinely intervene and touch each of our justices, yes. Yes. that they would not be influenced by the world, but as gifted with the role of guardian interpreter and interpreter, that they would do so in alignment with your ways, with your will, and in honor of their oath to uphold yes. our country's yes. laws, yes. Co constitution, yes. and in their declaration and and request in their oath, so help me God. Yes. yes. And as the old battle hymn of the Republic declares, you, Lord, are sifting out the hearts of men before your judgment seat. Your truth is marching on, Amen. Lord. Amen. Glory, Amen. glory, hallelujah Amen. to you, Lord. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And Lord, we call forth the fear of the Lord yes. to fall upon each of those justices. Yes. Yes. Lord, your word tells us that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Yes. yes. And we need your wisdom to flow through these nine justices. Lord, we bind up the spirit of intimidation, the political will and intimidation and force that would, would power through to have its way done. All of those protesters that are out there in front of the Supreme Court building, we just pour, pour out your Holy Spirit upon them, Lord, that that might turn into a beginning of a, the great third awakening as they will all start praising you and shock themselves. Lord, we just declare that this Supreme Court will not do, will not change anything you told them to do out of fear or intimidation or that political spirit but they would as Janae prayed live up to their vows to uphold the Constitution of the United States of America in Jesus name Amen. Amen. so be it Lord Lord, we ask for visible evidence of this. Yes. Lord, we pray expectantly. And Lord, this, this issue that has been before the Supreme Court that has been the subject of the leak, mm -hmm. of the breach of security, of information there, the overturning of Roe versus Wade, yes. the uh, overturning of that particular case that has so marred America with an abortion agenda. Lord, we know that you above all are pro-life. 
<laughs> Everything about you is about life. And so, Lord, we ask that whether it's through this particular issue right now, but we call for that complete turning in our nation. Yes. Amen. From the federal government yes. through every state government, yes. that we would be a nation that is absolutely marked pro all of life. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Pro life from conception in the womb. Pro life through the birth process. Pro life in the care, the nurturing, the provision, the education of children and young people across America. Pro life in the development and the uh, flourishing of adults in the workplace across America. Pro-life in the care and honoring of seniors and the elderly in our nation. Jesus, you said, I have come that you would have life and have it more abundantly. That includes life in the spirit and it includes life abundant life in our days here on earth from conception until our eyes close in earthly death and behold the throne. So we declare today America is pro all of life. Amen. Amen. Father, we pray for the people of the United States to see clearly that all of life is a sacred gift worthy of our protection and our love. In Genesis 1.27, your word says, So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. We decree that the people of our nation will see clearly that life is sacred because we are created and dearly loved by God. Yes. We are his image bearers. Amen. Amen. And we pray for the unborn children of our nation mm -hmm. and for their protection in a society that debates their very humanity. Yes. Yes. Watch over them, God. Yes. Protect them. Yes. Oh, we thank you that you ordained every single day of their lives, mm -hmm. every life, that comes into this world has been ordained by you from the beginning of time. We thank you, God, that children are a blessing of the Lord and something that He has fashioned very purposefully. We pray that children, unborn and postborn, <laughs> that they will be treasured and seen as gifts in this nation. And we pray, Psalm 139, that you all are so familiar with, for you created my inmost being. Yes. You knit me together yes. in my mother's womb. Yes. And we decree that the unborn children of our nation yes. are valued, yes. protected, yes. and seen as gifts from God. Yes. Yes. And in, the, in the midst of family being dismantled in our society, we pray for the strengthening of our families, that the hearts of fathers will turn towards their children, Amen. the hearts of children to their fathers. Yes. We pray for returning in our family to daily prayer, to worship, to Bible reading, to sharing stories of your faithfulness, Lord, all those stones of remembrances that we would share with our kids, that they would, they would not just hear about the goodness of you, but they would experience and have their own stones of remembrance. Amen. Yes, Lord. So 78, 4 through 7 says, we will tell the next generation the praiseworthy deeds of the Lord, his power and the wonders he has done, so that the next generation would know them, yes. even the children yet to be born, and that Amen. they in turn Amen. would tell their children that they would put their trust in God and would not forget his deeds, but would keep his commands. Amen. So we decree 
in the name of Jesus that families in this nation are being strengthened yes. and yes. set ablaze yes. with the power and the yes. presence of Almighty God. Amen. Amen. Set Amen. them ablaze, Amen. Lord. Yes. Let your fire burn in our families. Yes. God, and we pray for our families and yes. the church that they would lead the way in caring for the elderly. Yes. As God's intent, yes. with honor and respect yes. for their lives yes. and contributions to generations following them, Isaiah 46, 4, even to your old age and gray hairs, I am he, I am he who sustains you. I have made you and I will carry you. I will sustain you and I will rescue you. God, we thank you for rescuing our elders in this nation, that they would be put in a place where they are honored, where they are revered. Yes, yes. God, this nation has turned so far from that place of honoring yes. our elders. Yes. And we, Lord, we, we repent of that. Yes. And we ask for your forgiveness yes. and for a turnaround in this nation in the way we view our elders. And we decree that the elderly in our society are being respected, honored, yes. and cared for, cared for as God intends. Yes. Amen. I just sense a hovering of the Holy Spirit, not only in this room, but across our nation right now. A hovering of the Holy Spirit, just breathing life, breathing life, breathing life. Each of these prayers over families, some of you who are in this room or who are participating, in YouTube or Facebook Live, maybe thinking of your own children right now and asking God to bring them into that place of His Spirit. And we just declare over our children, over your children, those who are prodigals will come back. Amen. It ain't over till it's over. <laughs> and the end of the story is the prodigal came home. Amen. That's right. And so take hold of that. Yes. Holy Spirit is hovering over our nation. Holy Spirit is hovering over your family right now. Yes. Breathing life. Breathing hope. Breathing healing. Breathing restoration. In the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, with this, we thank you that not only in our homes, but across this nation, you have ordained, you have begun an awakening. Yes. That's right. Not just an awakening, but great awakening yes. in our nation. And we press into the fullness of that. We're not satisfied with just a taste of awakening, mm -hmm. but we are hungry for the fullness of your spirit in awakening. And Lord, as we pray for the great awakening that is coming, and as Nancy says, probably already begun, Lord, as the days become darker and evil seems to reign in every area of society, Father God, use these times to awaken those who need you. Yes those who are lost and yes the prodigals we decree today the prodigals will come home yes. they will return yes. to the yes. Lord their God yes. they will be even stronger than they were before because yes. you will become a part of who they are yes. and Lord as uh, we begin let this let this great awakening begin in your church yes. mm -hmm. awaken us Yes. Yes. Your children, your family, your church. Yes. Anoint us with fresh yes. fire, yes. fresh revelation yes. of who you yes. are yes. and what you have called us to be in the earth for yes. this time. Lord, help the church to rise in their God-given authority 
we are carriers of your presence. Yes, your light shines through us mm -hmm. in the darkness, yes, and the lost will be drawn to you yes. through us. Yes. So, Lord, let the church become to rise up and be all you have called yes. her to yes. be Amen. in these times. Yes. In Thank Jesus' you. name. Lord, it's been declared today that governments are designed to bring order, and we declare out into the atmosphere that we are that government, yes. the ecclesia, yes. the body of Christ that you mantled with dominion from the very beginning to walk on the earth as it is in heaven. Your government is designed to bring kingdom order in this earth. It's why we can come before you today with humble hearts to join our faith together and come as one before you to call for a spiritual awakening, to sweep across our land that affects the church first as the spiritual leaders of this nation. Awaken every sleeping pastor yes. to the yes. fullness yes. of their responsibility yes. as the overseers. Yes. Yes. Cause this awakening to burn in such a way that first love yes. comes alive in them. Yes. Yes. Blow yes. through the caverns yes. of each you, soul yes. and pour in yes. them your spirit to overflowing. Yes. Yes. As pastors begin to burn again mm -hmm. and light the fire within yes. the members of their congregations. Yes. Let this awakening spread across each town and city yes. until schools and government leaders are all consumed yes. with passion yes. to yes. lift your name on high. Yes. Awaken yes. and come awake yes. to hunger, to perceive and to thirst after righteousness. Yes. And I would like to conclude this part with us all reciting the Lord's Prayer together. Amen. Our Father, Father which, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And Father, we want to also Pray for a glow. And we, we thank you that you have given the gifts to a glow to this nation and indeed the nations of the world. I know that you don't forget, but I want to bring to your remembrance today the word that you gave to us that there would be a lighthouse in every city and every town. And Father, we just ask that that, that word would come to fruition in this day where there's chaos around the world the gift of a globe is needed in the towns and cities and father we thank you that you are working to bring that to fruition yes it is time yes it is time lord yes lord. i pray for leaders in a globe yes that their eyes would be open to the mighty calling that god has for their lighthouses their areas and that they should be a beacon for God in their communities yes. around the world. Let us rise to that calling. Cause us to be open to your word and your wisdom and give us revelation of how we are to be what God has called us to be in the earth in this critical hour. And we thank you for that in the mighty, powerful name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, what a precious and powerful time of prayer this has been today and continues to be. We're so grateful that we can gather together like this in our nation. Our hearts ache for 
brothers and sisters in the body of Christ in nations where it's difficult to gather. And we so cherish what you have given us. We don't take it for granted that you have given us this privilege in our nation to be able to come freely together to pray unguarded and unhindered in the fullness of the power of Holy Spirit. And Lord, we ask that you would protect that right in our nation. Lord, may we ever be mindful to give thanks for this right that we have. And to contend when this right is challenged. To contend not in the angry spirit of the world, but in the power of righteousness, in the power of your glory, in the power of your call to have dominion and to rule. We declare that we as Americans will always have this right to speak your name, to gather together in your name, to declare unhindered, unfettered, unedited, uncensored, that you, Lord Jesus, our Lord in America. Yes. Amen. Yes, Lord. That you, God, are our God, and yes. in God we trust. Yes, yes, we do. That we are one nation under God. Yes. Indivisible. Yes, Lord. Not indivisible by anything that we can do, but indivisible because we are in your hand together. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Across the nation, as people are gathering in state capitals, in Washington, D.C., in living rooms, <laughs> YouTube and Facebook, <laughs> in offices, there is a prayer that has been crafted by the National Day of Prayer Committee that is being said. And so we, in unity with the body of Christ across our nation now, we declare this prayer as well. Lord, we exalt you. We are filled with awe and wonder as our praise joins the heavenly host saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. You have established your throne in heaven and the foundations of the earth. You alone are the creator. The earth is yours and all it contains is for your glory. You created, O Lord, and established all of us as your image bearers. May our lips and lives continually praise you, reflecting and magnifying you in all our words and ways. You are the author of our days. You have established your plans and purpose for us. We respond to your glory and authority in obedience to your word and will. You have established prayer that we, your children, can communicate with our Heavenly Father. You direct, strengthen, and disciple us in your everlasting love. We join heaven's activities as we lift up our prayers and pour out our praise repentance, thanks, intercession, and supplication. Lord, you have established America through the hearts of our founding fathers and the documents they penned, declaring our dependence upon your sovereignty and supremacy. 
We overflow with gratitude, having been firmly rooted and built up in our faith in you. Let our reputation be of our faith in Christ alone, our love for all people, and fruitful lives bearing the attitude, affections, and actions of your Spirit, who dwells and works within us and through us. We pray for America, the church, family, education, military, workplace, government, arts, entertainment, and media. United in your love, we exalt the Lord who has established us. In Jesus' name we always pray. Amen. 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 Again, thank you. Thank you, staff, co-workers, brothers and sisters, family, family across this nation and perhaps others who've joined us today as we've gathered to pray. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. May his favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children. <laughs>